Why hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaliyah Jade and today we're talking about Big Brother. I love myself, I wanna see it when I turn around, look in the mirror. And if you don't like it, you can leave it. Cause it's my own and I'll keep owning it. So I wanna first and foremost apologize for the way that I look right now. I'm being thrown. It is the day after the season premiere and I had a power trip in my room. So it's been a little rough. But we're gonna talk about all the cast members, my top five pick and everything that bb20 has in store i love julie chen she is amazing she's beautiful gorgeous and can we talk about that audience like i literally love everybody in the audience i could name pretty much everyone in the audience because i'm a huge bb fanatic this cast looks amazing that like they like they look very eclectic and they look like a very diverse group of people um i wish there was a little bit more diversity but beggars can't be choosers i'm glad that there's two black people yet again one black female one black male let's get into the cast okay so there was sam the first one she is really cute very country a mountain speak is what she was talking about and i love the fact that she's a woman in a mainly dominated male industry she's pretty cool and quirky um i don't know if i personally like her she's not my style of a person um but i definitely don't think she's gonna win next we have tyler who's got the frank udi vibes it's the hair he's a lifeguard he may look like he's kind of aloof but i think he's very smart and i think that he could go far in this game. I don't know how far, but I think he could go pretty far. Next we have Bailey, which I love, love, love. And I don't know if it's because she's the only black female and I feel like I have to embody her, but she's like really smart and she's gorgeous. So I love her. The only thing I would have to say is that I would want her to watch her mouth because I feel like she's super smart and giving Swaggy C, which I'm gonna refer to as Chris from now on, advice. Um, but I feel like her mouth could get her in trouble. So who knows, as long as she's pretty chill and she watches what she says to who she says it to. Okay, there's Steve who's like Derek 2.0, the undercover cop. I think he's pretty cool. Uh, I think he's cool like Kevin from last season, but I'm also thinking that his undercover skills are gonna get noticed and people are gonna catch on. I do think he will go far as far as Jerry, but I'm not sure. How, if he's gonna make it any farther than that before you like mess up my entire video. Can you like chill? Caitlin or from now on she'll be known as aura as somebody on Twitter said I can't stand her She has to go. I do not want her to make it to jury because I cannot watch her all summer long Winston I feel he is so cute. He's giving me clay vibes, but like smarter than clay vibes and trying to be cute Angela the fitness model I love her she's beautiful she's gorgeous I feel like she's smart but I feel like she's also gonna play with her emotions too much and she might have a breakdown early in the game if not an argument early in the game and I don't think she's gonna last that long I really wish she would but I'm not sure based on the first night JC everybody seems to like love and I don't think I like him. He's really cool Like I love his accent. He's pretty funny and him and Sam their deal is cool But like since I don't really like Sam that much. I don't really like JC that much. And so they're not my pick I don't I don't ship that Rachel. I love she has a huge personality But I feel like that can also get her in trouble later down the road But I feel like she's gonna be a smart player as well And I know she's best friends with Jackie from season 17 outside of the house, but I don't know if that's gonna help her in any way. Her name is Rachel, she's from Vegas, she loves Vegas, and so we all know the last Rachel who loved Vegas. So I don't know what that means for her personality and what that means for her mouth and what that means for her game. But she does have spunk. Chris, or whoever, Swaggy C, I want to love him just because I'm rooting for everybody black out here, but I feel like he's gonna go on power trips and I don't like people who go on power trips and I feel like that's gonna get him in trouble in this game um, so I like him but I have my reservations Angie slash Rockstar WTF that's all I gotta say 
Brett, I love. Like, I'm not really fond of the whole bro thing, and I think he's broing it up a little too much, but I love the fact that he's really smart, and I think he's gonna play a really good game, and I think he's gonna go really far. Casey is my absolute favorite. I don't know. The yellow she was wearing on the first night just gave her this this aura. Her chakras were in order. I have no freaking idea. But like for me, she just seems like a really good player. Um, based on the first competition, I don't know. It was in the dark. It wasn't like a real, real competition, so I'm not completely sure. But for right now, she's like my top pick. I like Scotty. He gives off some kind of like Steve from se season 17 and Ramsey's from season 19 vibes. He's a little nerd and I love nerds, but I feel like he's also going to be smart and obviously gives off AD vibes from season 15 just because he's a redhead. Um, but like, I don't know. Steve and Andy both won their seasons and Ramsey lost just because of a misunderstanding. I like Haley just because she's like 21 and I'm 21 so I can relate. But I also feel like she's like super cute and she's kind of naive but she has potential and which is what I like about her. I think she's going to go for in this game probably because she's going to align herself with um, a strong guy um, and maybe a few girls but I don't know I feel like she has promise. Last night, let's be a facial or fessy or whatever he wanted to be called. Um, I think he's pretty cool. I think he's gonna be a little level headed, but at the same time, it's possible he can go on power trips. And I'm hoping that he does it because if he doesn't, he could become one of my favorite players. And I think that it happened to be really great that he didn't win the first competition just because I feel like it would put a huge target on his back right away and I don't want him to be targeted so soon. My top five pick right now would have to be Brett. Casey, Bailey, Haley, and Scotty. And a hodgepodge group, but I feel like they could go pretty far. I'm not sure about alliances just yet, but I obviously see a big, strong guy alliance forming. It almost always happens. And I feel like a pretty girl alliance forming as well, because a lot of the pretty girls this season are really strong. Um, and athletic. Other than that, I'm super excited for all the twists and turns that Big Brother is going to throw at us. I'm liking the social media aspect right now with the whole voting and the messenger bots, whether it be on Facebook, Twitter, Skype, or Kick. I think I like that. I'm not completely sure. The only thing is that there are a lot of people online voting and stuff like that, so it is there is a tendency for there to be a lot of traffic and the search engine or, or and for the bot to crash. So. Other than that, I think I like it, but once again, it's only the first night. I'll be making another video for night two and for all the other future nights, as long as my schedule allows. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And comment down below what you thought about the season premiere of BB20. I love you, and don't forget to stay beautiful. Sweet little